Hello and welcome to Shroff Sir's classes. Today we will be doing an advanced topic in mathematical logic. Mathematical logic called the well ordering principle which is a very important principle if you want to pursue higher studies in mathematics. So what does this principle state? Simply put the principle states that every non-empty non-empty subset of n has a least element please note the use of the words non-empty subset of the natural numbers subset of the natural numbers has a least element pretty intuitive it seems so but the proof is a little complex than this so let us let s be an arbitrary non-empty subset a non-empty non-empty subset of n and m equals m belongs to n and such that m is less than equal to n for all n belongs to a subset s we define this subset of s like so now 1 belongs to m since since 1 is less than equal to n for all n belongs to s let n belong to s then n plus 1 is greater than n which implies n plus 1 does not belong in m because because let's just pull this up because m not equal to n since now 1 belongs to m and m not equal to n there exists there exists this is a symbol for there exists some element some element some element let's just clear this out some element element there exists some element l plus 1 which does not belong in m which does not belong in m now l belongs to m which implies l is less than equal to n for all n belongs to s if l is not the least element is l is not the least element then l is less than some element n where n belongs to s for all n belongs to n which implies l plus 1 is less than equal to n for all n belongs to s this shows now l plus 1 belongs to m which is in fact a contradiction because we have already introduced that m plus 1 is does not belong in m so let us get to a few examples of how to use this suppose we are required to prove a theorem which states that there are there are no positive natural numbers there are no positive natural numbers strictly less than 0 and 1 
so there are no positive natural numbers strictly less than 0 and 1 so how do we prove this proof is let s be a set of integers x let x s be a set of integers x such that such that 0 is less than 1 and greater than x strictly suppose s is non empty non empty let n now let n be a, its smallest element n its smallest smallest element smallest element now we multiply both sides of n we multiply both sides both sides of n less than 1 by n and this gives us n squared less than n the square of a positive integer now the square of a positive integer so n squared is a positive integer it's a positive integer such that 0 such that 0 n squared n 1 this is a contradiction this is a contradiction of minimality minimality of n so n or oh sorry s s minimality minimality of s so s so we assume the contrapositive so s is empty that's it that's your proof thanks for watching